have a word from the Lord. It's a two-part word. So, Isaiah 40, verses 1 through 5. Now, this is directed towards those who have been in the purifying season, those who God has called to consecrate themselves, those who have set themselves apart um, to be used by God, willing to be um, set apart, those that um, the Lord has anointed himself, those that the Lord himself has given a mantle to, a new name to, um, this word is for you. Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended. That her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. This is our duty now. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight, and the rough places smooth. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Our warfare is, is over. The season of purification is over. He has prepared us. He has prepared us for what lies ahead in this part two which is going to be from Isaiah 13 is what lies ahead all will see the glory of the Lord in each of our lives all will see where those have spoken where is their God where those who have uh, out the outside have doubted where is their God they will see the glory of the Lord in your life the Lord will grant you his glory, his anointing, his blessing over your life as you prepare yourself to minister the gospel, as you prepare to preach the gospel, wonders from the power of the Holy Spirit will follow, okay? This is what he has prepared us for. This is what lies before us right now. This word is what we all will be led into and many of us are already led into and if anyone hears this word that is not saved the time is now the time to turn from your wickedness is now the time to receive the grace of God is now because the time is up lift up a banner on on the high mountain 13 it's going to be the whole chapter 13 of Isaiah um, excuse me let me start over the burden against Babylon which Isaiah the son of Amos saw lift up a banner on the high mountain raise your voice to them wave your hand that they may enter the gates of the noble of, of the nobles I have commanded my sanctified ones the Lord is calling us to call those home those will hear his voice those who will turn and repent wave your hand that they may enter in these next um, portion of verse 3 on into verse 4 we will have the help of angels angelic hosts so th verse 3, the beginning of verse 3, I have commanded my sanctified ones, that's us, those who have set themselves apart, those who, are, who the, the Lord has called to be set apart, to consecrate ourselves, to sanctify ourselves for his work, those who have been chosen by God, those who have answered the calling. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, those who rejoice in my exaltation, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like that of many people. A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. These are the angelic hosts that will be on our side. The Lord of hosts musters the army for battle. 
both on earth and heaven. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, the Lord and his weapons of indignation to destroy the whole land. Wail for the day of the Lord is at hand. It will come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore all hands will be limp. This is for the unbelievers. Every man's heart will melt, and they will be afraid. Pangs and sorrows will take hold of them. They will be in pain as a woman in childbirth. The times have already begun. Destruction, I let a word out that the Lord had commanded me to let out, where destruction has already been released in the world. The shakening, many pro people of God have, have declared the shakening of the Lord has already begun for a while now. All we have to do is see the destruction that is in the world right now. The time is running out. They will be amazed at one another. Their faces will be like flames, the unbelievers. Behold, the day of the Lord comes, cruel with both wrath and fierce anger. The age of grace is coming to an end. Receive the gift of grace and salvation now. Judgment is here to lay the land desolate and he will destroy its sinners from it. Turn from our wickedness. Turn from our wickedness. The price is already paid. Even those in the church. Turn from our wickedness. Repent. Much of the church is asleep and sick because we have continued in our sin. We have continued in our own understandings. He will destroy its sinners from it, for the stars of heaven and their constellations will not give their light. The sun will be darkened in its going forth, and the moon will not cause its light to shine. This is a darkness that uh, many people of God have, have already been declaring. This is not a new word. This is literal, a literal darkness, not, not, not only spiritual. I will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their inequity. I will halt the arrogance of the proud and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a mortal more rare than fine gold. This is literal. A mortal more rare than fine gold. Man will be more scarce than pure gold. This is hard to believe, but all who have an ear, let them hear. Lord, prepare the hearts for every person that hears this to turn, to answer the calling of salvation, to answer the calling of consecration, to answer the calling that you have purposed for their lives. A man more than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth will move out of her place. This is already this is already happening. The shakening has already happened. That the only the unshakable will remain. In the wrath of the Lord of hosts and the day of his fierce anger, it shall be as the hunted gazelle, and as a sheep that no man takes up. Every man will turn to his own people, and every one will flee to his own land. Every one who is found will be thrust through. This is this is. Everyone who is found, every every lost sinner who will be found, who will hear the voice of the shepherd, will be thrust through. This is how quickly, this is how, this is to, to, to clarify that there is no time left. They will be thrusted through, verse 15, and everyone who is captured will fall by the sword. Their children also will be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses will be plundered and their wives ravished. Behold, I will stir up the Medes, the Medes against them, who will not regard silver, and as for gold, they will not delight in it. God is bringing this judgment against the Babylonians, the ungodly, those full of pride, 
those so far from God because they're so full of pride. Also their bows will dash the young men to pieces and they will have no pity on the fruit of the womb. As today's wickedness has had no pity on the fruit of the womb, so will it be when judgment comes upon those who are not washed by the blood, who have not turned from their ways. There will be no pity. There has been no pity in the actions of man today and there will be no pity in the judgment of the wrath of God. The eye will not spare children in Babylon. The glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans' pride, will be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It will never be inhabited, nor will it be settled from generation to generation, nor will the Arabian pitch tents there, nor will the shepherds make their sheepfolds there. Not even those who overthrow the ungodly will dwell in their habit in their places. Desolation is the outcome. Only the wild beasts will find places. Nor will the Arabian pitch their tents there, nor will the shepherds make their sheepfolds there, but wild beasts of the desert will, will lie there, and their houses will be full of owls, ostriches will dwell there, and wild goats will, ca will ca caper there. The hyenas will howl in their citadels, and jackals in their pleasant places. Her time is near to come, and her days will not be prolonged. Open your eyes, open your ears. I declare right now in the name of Yahweh that the scales be removed from the eyes, the hearts be softened, those hardened hearts be softened, prepared for salvation. I pray for mercy. I know that the Lord is a merciful God. grace has been made available to each and every one. May they have the eyes to see. I cancel the snares and the deceptions of the enemy in the name of Yahweh. That your people will have eyes to see this very hour, Lord. They will see the deceptions. They will see where they have been lied to. They will see the pride of their heart. They will see the sin and the wickedness and they will turn from their ways. For this is your perfect will for them. For those whose warfare is over, those called by God, may you be strengthened and edified, for you are equipped with the power and the authority of the Holy Spirit to go forth the time is now to preach the gospel of peace in power in the power of the Holy Spirit in truth God bless you all